star you're looking at is actually not there right now. It could be over there. Hmm. But because as distance passes, um, uh, uh, time is slower, and by the time the information reaches us, it's been years upon years upon decades, about decades, about centuries. And so when scientists look in the furthest reaches of the universe, they understand they're looking to billions of years ago when they get a snapshot. The snapshot is of billions of years ago, not of yesterday, not of now. So we're a little late on the upkeep. We're a little late in catching up to this. Right? You need to catch up to that you're safe now. That that was so long ago. But when you look, it seems like you're still there. But understand, things are never what they seem, as my godmother used to, loves to tell me. Things are never what they appear to be. Because it's an ever-changing world we live inside of. So this is why you want to stop and examine and take a look. Where am I at? What's actually going on in my life? And is my response pattern driving with my experience? What's, what's actually coming at me in this world? For many of us, we're always a few steps behind because of the insistence of not looking a little deeper. The more you look, the deeper you look, the more you self-examine, the closer you come to real time. Because you start catching up, you start seeing things that at a passing glance you don't see. You bring yourself closer to the image of what is today, much closer. Hence why it's so difficult to be present. Because it's, it's, it's something that is just so distant and, and constantly changing and we'd have to move with it. When two things are moving at the same time, they look still to each other. So you will have to be able to move in your life in awareness with the way time is going and then maybe you'll be present in real time. And it'll occur like a stillness. Because again, if it's moving at the same time, it looks still. And so that's as good a definition of stillness as I've heard before, because are you truly still when the world is spinning on its axis a thousand miles an hour and around the sun 65,000 miles an hour? None of us are really still. We're in still movement. So can you find your still movement? And this is a big reason for self-work.